one follow on from my previous video about uh, different ways that, or understanding that different perspectives or different understanding of different words. But that well, the video was particularly on saying I love you and what that meant. Now this video I did want to follow on and talk about expression of love. And I want to do that by telling a story, as I do, I like telling stories. Um, years ago, I had a friend who came over and he had a surprise and he was really excited when he you know, came over and he said, oh, I've got a surprise for you, I've cleaned your, or washed your car. And I'm not a car person, right? And I'm not big on, I'm not obsessed with the car and I don't look after it like an obsessed person or anything. But, um... My reaction to a like immediate reaction was, "Why'd you do that for?" <laughs> it's just gonna rain. Now we live in Melbourne and we have four seasons in one day, so it will rain. And I didn't understand why. And he walked out of the room really upset with my reaction, saying, "Oh, gee, thanks, Tao." And obviously, being who I am, I'm like, "Oh, obviously, I've missed something." Uh, and then I did some research, as I do. And then I came across um, a man named um, Gary Chapman. Now, Gary Chapman wrote a book called The Five Love Languages. Um, and he had a quiz. Now, I had the, the thinking behind it is that um, we have preferences. Our brain can express it however way, but there is a certain preference in things that we do and how our brain works and the process that it takes. So, and I learned this from, you know, personality assessments like MBTI, the My Briggs Type Indicator, where it looks at, you know, how we make decisions or, you know, there's a more comfortable way usually. So, for example, our hands. You know, we've got two hands, we can use either to, to write, but usually there's a more comfortable way or a more preferred way, more preferred hand, sorry, that we can use, and that's the same thing. We can, we have, there's five love languages, so there's gifts, time, acts of service, words of affirmation, and physical touch. And we do all five, but usually there's one that we do more dominantly than the other, or some might do it as equally, but there's usually a more preferred way that we can express. And, you know, after, you know, finding this out, I, I made him, made my friend do, complete the quiz, and so did I, and I scored high in uh, words of affirmation, so I'd rather what that means is I'd rather him just say that he cares as opposed to him doing anything. But obviously for him it was uh, acts of service, so he does things as opposed to he sees no need for words of words in general. He'd rather just do and show. You know, and that's his way of expressing it, and that's the way that I express it is I'll just say to him, I care. <laughs> but um, obviously that wouldn't mean anything to him, like how he washed my car didn't mean anything to me. So... <laughs> You know, like having the information that we had these preferences and we sat on it for a while or a few days and I was just like, yeah, this doesn't change anything. It just means that we're a bit more aware, but we, don't, we still want to feel that we're appreciated and, and people do care somewhat, right? And I think and then I realised that I needed to speak his language. So I made him a sandwich. It was a terrible sandwich. It had nothing in it. It was took two seconds it was just horrible but he was so appreciative like it was like I was giving him gold or you know giving him something amazing but you know he just kept thanking me he was so appreciating me and I was in my head I was just like it's just a sandwich and it's really bad sandwich but okay and that was seriously my reaction but but that's the thing if you want someone to care you need to speak their language right and I think this is an important thing to know how people around you express the way they their love, and I, I get my friends to do it too. Like it's good to know how to you know tell them how to appreciate them, um, and talk their language to, so they understand you know. And like now that you know, years have passed, my preference is time, <laughs> quality time. So what that means is for someone to show them because I see time is a, a valuable thing where I'm always in a rush or I don't quite understand time and. You know, it bothers me a bit, and so spending time for me to spend time with someone, and I don't commit to things that often, but when I do, it means a lot, and that's the the highest point a way of that I express it. Words don't mean anything because you know people interpret words different. <laughs> but um, and 
So if somebody wants to show me they care, they just need to spend some time with me. They don't need to say anything. They just they don't need to do anything or whatever. They just need to spend some time with me. And to me, that's like, you know, a big thing for someone to sacrifice a bit of their day just to spend some time with me. It shows me the, the highest point of expression of love. And that's for me personally. And I think that it's important for people to know, like even your friends or whatever, just so you can speak their language so they care, so they know you care. I think, um, you know, it's sad because, you know, when it comes to love and people in general, we just want to feel love or we, want, we don't want to be alone. And that's what is a bit painful for people. They just feel lonely, et cetera, or they can't, they feel misunderstood or, you know, disconnected, et cetera. And just doing something like this and appreciating the people that you do care about in your life is a big deal. So I suggest you go have a look or check it out. Just Google Five Love Languages, it's Gary Chapman. Or I think the site is the number five, um, at, uh, sorry, number five, lovelanguages.com. But do the quiz, check it out and tell someone you care about how you feel in their language, even though it means nothing for you. And you think it's a bit silly, but it's it's about that appreciation for the people that are in your life that stick around, yeah? But um, I did want to tell this story, just uh, another perspective that people should, you know, acknowledge that people are different. You can't expect everyone to talk your language. They've just got different ways of showing it. Okay.